Happy Friday everyone and welcome to what could possibly be my favorite taste test so far. Today we've got eight flavors from our favorite ice cream shop, Lovejoy's Real Ice Cream. And usually we do videos where you can get the food pretty much anywhere in the US, but today is our first local taste test. They only have one location, it's in Meridian, Idaho, so if you're ever around, go check them out because we know that we really, really like this place, but we're not sure which is the very best flavor, so today we are doing a taste test to find out. Absolutely, and we want to thank the owners at Lovejoy's for providing these ice cream flavors. This is not a paid promotion, but they did provide all the ice cream for us today. So thank you guys very much. We appreciate that, and we're going to especially appreciate it in just a minute when we start digging into these because they are going to be super tasty. That's By right. the way, so our taste test today is not a tournament style, which is what we normally do, but today we're going to be rating each of these individually, one at a time on a scale of one to a hundred. And at the end, we might bring out the two best flavors for a head-to-head -to, -head to see which one is the very best. Our first flavor of the day is cherry almond chocolates, and this is one that I really like. I've had this one before, and uh, I've been told that only 60-year-old <laughs> ladies get this, but which is totally I do get this one. fine. We do not discriminate on age or flavor or anything else. But I do get this so. one, so Ooh, that's not true. Look at that. That's a nice cherry. little cherry chunk in there. Nice. Mm. <laughs> wow, that is so, just amazing. Can we do a taste test where everything gets like in the 90 and above? <laughs> yeah, I, so I did this one. I decided we should do this one from one to 100, even though usually we rate from one to 10, Dang. because I think I need a lot of room up in that upper 20 or 30 range, because otherwise I'm just going to be giving Nines everything in, Yeah, an eight, oh nine, or 10. Oh my gosh. That's so good. This is so good. So good. I mean, there's, it's an excellent flavor and there's a lot of flavor. There's just so many different things in there. The chocolate chunks, that big chunk of cherry. Um, I, and I can taste the almond too. Yeah, so, absolutely. I think mostly the almond gives a nice crunch mm -hmm. in there, but it does have a good flavor. And mm. the cherry in the ice cream base itself makes it really good too. Okay, this is gonna be tough not to just sit and keep eating every single one of these. Yeah. Until it's gone, but we're gonna do our best. So now it's time to rate it. And the first one's always kind of a tough this one's one hard. to rate. Yeah, I don't want to rate it too high because we have seven more to try <clears> and they could be a lot better, but <sighs> I don't really see how but I can get so a lot good. better than that. So I agree. I'm not going to go to like the top of the scale because there's got to be some room possibly for something that might be better. I don't know, but it's so good that I got to still rate it high. I'm going to give it an 88. 88, wow. Yeah. See, I want to do something like that, but the other ones could all be better. I don't know. You I'm typically gonna give it, do this in our videos. Yeah. You go down below what I do. Well, usually. okay, I'm gonna give it an 82 still. Okay. It's very good. That's pretty good for Colin. All right, next up is the Strawberry Chevre. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but Chevre is goat cheese. So this is Strawberry Goat Cheese? I don't pretty know. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I've never had this one. So I'm looking forward to it. Mm, okay. Yeah, I just got a really good strawberry flavor. It is very creamy. Wow. That is super creamy. It is. Wow. I don't taste any like weird, weird dairy. cheese or dairy flavor. No, I no. don't either. It's just pure deliciousness it's, pretty much. Yeah, so there is a, a lot of strawberry flavor in there, which wow. I love, but I think the thing I noticed most is the creaminess creamy of it. it is. It is extremely which creamy. Which might be the goat cheese that's doing that. Holy moly. There aren't mm. any like strawberry chunks, so it's well blended. Oh, maybe there's, there, maybe maybe there maybe there's some little pieces but it has extremely good strawberry flavor in my opinion. Okay, yeah. But I think what I said in the beginning is true. This is probably gonna be my favorite taste test we've done. <laughs> These are just incredible ice creams. The flavor is so amazing. I'm trying to decide if the flavor makes up for the lack of chunks because I am totally a texture guy. Yeah. So having the chunks in like the um, cherry almond chocolate that we just did makes a big difference to me, but the flavor on this is so amazing. Yeah, okay. I think I I probably like the flavor about the same as the cherry almond chocolate, but because there's no extra oh, textures in there, like you were talking about, I think I might have to give it a little bit lower. Okay. Yeah. Which I, I feel really uh, bad about. Like, I don't want to give this ice cream <clears throat> somewhere in the 70s. Like, there's no way it deserves that, but I might have to just because of the scale I'm using. Okay. So, do you have your number? I guess I'll, I'll give it a 79. I'll give it the highest 70 possible. And this is so good, it's so close. I'm only going down two points, so I'm giving this an 86. Onto the third flavor, we've got Huckleberry Cheesecake, and this is one of the most popular in the store, 
and for good reason. I've yes. had this one plenty of times, and I think it's amazing. It sure is. And oh wow, nice big chunk of something right there. Oh, that's the cheesecake. Oh, see, that's the beauty about this ice cream. Yeah. Ooh. There are just like real solid ingredients in here. And I just got a big chunk of cheesecake in this bite. Which is why it's called Lovejoy's Real Ice Cream. Mm. This stuff mm. is always made mm. from real ingredients. Mm -hmm. And that, that is delicious. is exceptional. The that is berries, super unique. The berries are like, oh, I'm gonna say fresh, but they just pop with flavor. Yeah, that's, what, that's one thing I've noticed about all of the flavors we've tried so far. <laughs> This might be my okay. favorite. This is definitely this is definitely my favorite so far out of the first three. Okay, that's great. Um, this is definitely gonna be up there. I'm giving this a 93. I think I was going with 93 as well. Wow. I can't uh, I can't try to keep my scale <laughs> down anymore. That's just too good. 93. All right. All right. Next up is I like pina coladas, and this is the first one, and actually the only one that is dairy free and vegan. Only one that so, we're trying today. They have correct. other dairy free options. Correct. And I see a little bit of a pineapple chunk in there. Oh man. Ooh. And this Whoa. is one I haven't Whoa. tried before. Okay, so super coconutty. That's because they use a, a mm -hmm. coconut base instead of a dairy base. Mmm. And that this is definitely Ooh. different, isn't super, it? Super um, refreshing, actually. Mm -hmm. It's definitely very different than all the others we've tried. A little bit lighter, but still really sweet. Mm. If you're looking for something refreshing, this is the way to go. Like you said, it is a little bit lighter. <clears throat> I really like it though. It, is it feels like super tasty healthier or something <laughs> Because of the fruit flavor and the This the is light healthy texture. ice cream. Mm -hmm. You can just go sit down and eat it all day long Dang, well, I um, didn't think I was gonna like a dairy-free ice cream so much, but I really like this. This is super tasty It's not on the top of my list, but it still has a super excellent flavor and I really like those um, Pineapple chunks in there. I feel really bad going uh so low with the strawberry chevre, mm. giving it a 79. I just, that mm. just feels so undeserved now. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, strawberry chevre. I wish I could undo it, but it's too late. I'm going for an 83 on this one. All right, I'm gonna go with an 81. Okay, wow. I think all of the flavors that we've tried so far are better than any ice cream I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next up is chocolate chip cookie dough, and I see a chunk of cookie dough, so I'm going to steal that. Well, I think there's gonna be others. Yes, there is, right there. Oh, it's a very prominent cookie dough flavor, actually, mm -hmm. which is what I, which is not what I was expecting. There's a lot of pieces of chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. I can feel like it's just stuffed with chocolate shards. Yeah, I was expecting mm. to taste less mm. cookie dough. I thought it was just gonna be oh. like, when you get a chunk of cookie dough, then that's when you'll taste it, but there's a lot of and cookie dough if flavor. If you like cookie dough, which I do. Who doesn't? Um, <clears throat> this is so good. Let us know in the comments down below mm. if you prefer cookie dough over cookies, because I think I might. Okay. Whenever we're baking cookies, <laughs> I try to sneak some cookie dough, because I think it, I like it better than the cookies themselves. So <clears throat> we're only about halfway through this video so far, and I can already say that this is my favorite video so far that we've made because easily in terms of just a taste of the foods we're eating oh my gosh yeah it's now, incredible the cinnamon the cinnabon copycat recipe mm -hmm. is probably the only thing that i would even say compares kind of because that was also extremely delicious really good yeah but this ice cream is just amazing mm. wow okay i'm giving this i'm giving this a 90. wow i love the cookie high. dough flavor oh my gosh I'm taking another bite <laughs> I just like keep tasting it and it's just even the aftertaste is extremely good um, I'm gonna give actually, it a 92. Yeah. Oh 92. 92. That's a hundred and eighty two total. All right guys There's only three left to go and we have Wookie cookie here. This is a Cookie butter base with Biscoff cookie pieces in it. Man, you kind of just made me sad saying that there's only three left to go. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a little bit full, but <laughs> this is just so incredible. I'm not mm. I don't love Biscoff cookies. I do, but I like getting them on the getting them on the airplane. I don't. I mean, I don't. But this stuff is amazing. Okay. Oh. I, I kind of feel like mm. I don't know. Did you get like a chunk you guys yet? out there are probably oh. thinking that we're doing some kind of advertising for this ice cream shop because yeah. <clears throat> we're just loving this so much. But honestly, we're not. This ice cream is just amazing. Not a paid endorsement, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't, oh. I wish we could just like 
feed you guys this ice cream <laughs> through the screen somehow. You're going to have to go there and feed yourself. If you're ever in the Boise, Idaho area. Might even be worth a trip here. It, it might be just for the ice cream. If you're like an avid ice cream lover, it might be worth it because this stuff is so good. How can, how can a Biscoff cookie ice cream taste so good? It should not be able to taste that good. I don't know. Okay. I can't Man. tell if I, I, I mean, I really, I want to give all of these in the high nineties. <laughs> because they're amazing. But yeah, we have to kind of differentiate here. So um, even though it is amazing, I'm, I just think that mm. I like some of the other ones better. So I think I'm going to go with an 85 on this one. Yeah, I'm trying to be fair. Like I said, I want to give this in the high 90s, but I don't know if it's better than some of the other ones. So right. let me think for just a second. I'll come back with my rating. After much consideration, I think I will give this one a 91. I still want to go high, but I can't go too, too high. That's pretty dang high. All right. Our second to last flavor is brownie batter and bites. And this has some brownie chunks as well as a chocolate brownie base. You know, I am completely satisfied already with the ice creams we've eaten. I almost don't even need to eat anymore, <laughs> but these are just so good. Oh, okay. You know what I noticed actually? It's a great ice cream, just like all the rest, but I don't love the aftertaste as much. Oh, huh. Which I think you get that with a lot of foods, but with all the ice creams we tried before this, the aftertaste was actually mm. super good too. The brownie in this is pretty soft. It's kind of, uh, <clears throat> Mm, maybe a little bit fudgy. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Mm. I noticed the texture actually a little bit too. I don't know if I love the texture as much. It's it is like, not as creamy. It's kind of a little more like <clears throat> grainy than the others or something. Just slightly, but yes, it is. All right, one more bite so I can decide what I want to give I'm, this. I mean, I'm really trying to find some sort have of to nitpick. difference here. Yeah, because I, I can't give all of them in the 90s. So a really good ice cream, I would still recommend this, but mm. we're probably my least favorite so far, actually, unfortunately. You know what? I'm very surprised because it's chocolate and I love chocolate, but I'm gonna have to say that I think, I'm trying to decide if I like it better than the pina colada. <clears throat> 83. <laughs> You're giving this an 83? I'm giving it an 83. Okay, well, yep. since I gave the strawberry chevre a 79, I'll have to give this a 77. All right. All right, guys, last up, we've got cookies and cream here and it appears to be a chocolate base, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a, it's an Oreo base. Oreo base. All right. Mmm, a little, plenty of Oreo in there. Whoa, yeah, and taste it. Plenty of Oreo in there. Mm, mm hmm Dang, I'm speechless. Mmm. If you like Oreos, <laughs> there is no better ice cream than this one. It is nope. chock full of Oreos and the whole flavor wow. is just like eating Oreo cream. It is, yeah. Okay, mm. that's okay. That's a mm. that's a better chocolate ice cream than the brownie one, yeah. I think. I don't know if there's as much to it as some of the others, like the cherry almond chocolate with the chunks and such. So sometimes plain is good. Though. I don't know. I might not go into the '90s, but I'll get close. Mm. I'll give it an mm. 88. Okay, um, where am I at? I think I'm kind of falling somewhere in the middle of the pack, maybe just a little bit higher. Mm. I think I'm gonna go with an. 89 on this one. Okay, one higher than me. We're going to add up all the scores and we will bring back the best two for a final round to determine the very best Lovejoy's Real Ice Cream flavor. Okay, so while all of the ice creams rated extremely highly, we have to just be left with two. Mm -hmm. So, and these are the very best ones. We've got Huckleberry Cheesecake here and Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. So we're going to taste both of these again and tell you guys which one is our very favorite. Yes, Huckleberry Cheesecake. Got a score of 186. 186. Yeah. The chocolate chip cookie dough got 182. But maybe we'll have different opinions this time. Let's see. Okay, so these are gonna be hard to compare mm. because they're so different. They're very this different. one's a fruity, this one is a cookie. <laughs> well, not only is it a fruity, but having the chunks of I mean, there are like chunks of cream cheese in there mm. that you get. And it might seem kind of weird to enjoy that, but it is just I don't know, it's like really complex flavor, so good. It is very good. Okay. Mm. I don't, I'm gonna have such a hard time choosing which one I like better between these. I'm really thinking here, guys. Usually I don't do this, but I'm like deep in thought trying to figure out which one I like better. We're gonna stall I don't know. until the until they're both gone. are gone. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I think we might be uh, belaboring this a little bit. Whichever one I'm eating is the one that is my favorite. Uh, yeah, So exactly. 
But I'm gonna just I'm just gonna pick one. I have mine. Okay. If you're new around here, what we do is we. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. We count down from three, and then we put our hand over which one we like better. I'm gonna close my eyes and just stick it over there and see. Yeah, I, I keep wanting to do that too because, like you said, whichever one I'm eating at the time is the one I think is better. All right. I've got mine. All right. <laughs> Hand over our favorite in three, two, one. <gasps> okay, we agreed for once. We never do that. I was like totally convinced I was gonna pick this one. Me too. And then I think I took a bite of that last. <laughs> so, so that just. The yeah. chocolate chip cookie dough at Lovejoy's Real Ice Cream is the very best flavor. Now we did only try eight of them yeah. and there's a lot more a than lot. that. Yes. But out of the ones we tried, this is the very best. So. If you're ever in the area, go to Lovejoy's, get the chocolate chip cookie dough, and maybe the huckleberry cheesecake too. Just get both of them, or yes. or all of them. They've got a what's They're it all called? Great. They've got a platter. The transcontinental. Where you, transcontinental, where you can get five different scoops, so you can do your own little taste test, and mm -hmm. it will be worthwhile. All right. Well, we were trying to say goodbye, but we just could not help ourselves, so we just had to finish these real quick. All right, this is going to be the end of the taste test. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're new around here, because we post food reviews every single Friday, and like the video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week. See ya.